So Chloe, um, James's first night, he's had his um, first sleep. How has he got on? So, um, personally subjectively, James has said that until about 1am he felt like he had a great sleep, woke up 1am, felt brilliant, um, really clear and they'd had a lot of restorative sleep. Um, fell back asleep but then woke up quite a severe headache. Um, so been a bit of a concern for him, but he's woke up this morning and it's dulled down a bit. So just trying to jump on that and obviously ensure that doesn't carry on into today. Um, no extreme sweating for night one, which is brilliant. <laughs> um, hopefully we keep that up. Um, sleep efficiency has gone slightly down. I think he was quite fidgety in the night, but total sleep time has gone up and that's what we want. So hopefully we can get another early bedtime tonight. What do you causing the headaches? Um, well, it could be many things, obviously. I don't think it's dehydration. He's very, been very on top of that, and he did drink two drinks during the night, two full ones. Um, so I think it could be to do with lab light. That's what James thinks. It's a lot of artificial lighting. Um, that and obviously just generally doing an Iron Man, I think. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, hopefully it doesn't carry on. Um, but yeah, not as bad as when it was in the night. Okay, and then regards to his sleep. So on his first night, I think uh, you said from the day before it was about 92% sleep efficiency. Yeah. What's his, how's that sort of gone down doing that? We're looking around 87, 88%. Okay. So not a major drop, um, but obviously it is some degree. So just ensuring that we can try and keep that and stop him from moving anymore. Um, obviously it's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, total sleep time is what we wanna be focused on, making sure he's getting that. And he got seven hours and one minute. The night before was around six hours, uh, 10. So if we can keep it up to the seven hours, it'd be brilliant. Just obviously depends on the finish time. Yes, well, yeah, How do I'm you all right. Sleep? Me, weirdly, I probably slept better than I did the night before and had more sleep, but I feel see. a lot worse. Yeah, that is literally the same. You should have done an Ironman. I know, that well, helps. I don't think, I think just following you has made me tired. Right. Um, Let's trust it. Yeah. But yeah, genuinely, I think, you know, because I think I slept a lot better and a lot deeper. And I think, because I my alarm. I how you slept. This is my YouTube video. <laughs> Good. Right, go on then, James. Uh, slept absolutely brilliant till one o'clock in the morning. Uh, and then um, intermittently between one o'clock and when they come and turn all the lights on. Um, ate very well before I went to bed. Uh, I've had a headache though since I woke up at one o'clock and I've took some headache tablets. Um, I've drunk enough so that I shouldn't be dehydrated. It feels almost as if it's like a headache that was triggered by perhaps being dehydrated at some point. Uh, but it was really very painful uh, when I first woke up. But I've had some headache tablets with some caffeine in it and something to eat, and so that's helped. Legs feel good. Um, other than the headache, I feel great. Well, no, I don't feel great, that's a lie. But I feel better than you would imagine. Well, I know it'll help a headache, and that's another Iron Man. Yeah, well, I think, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to swim, I think, to something cool on my head. Yeah. I'm going to leave in three minutes. And we're going to leave in three oh, minutes. Right. Okay. Everything's good. I need my. Uh, swim bag. I need my uh, swimming trunks on, don't I? That sort of thing. Yeah. Ready? Right, yeah, day two is let's go. Good problem, yeah, yeah I've, I've cleaned them for him. Genuinely, I put them on, you could not see anything through them. <laughs> well, this is it. You've, line, that's it. <laughs> I, I don't know what, but it was horrendous. It took me ages to clean them. I, was, I wiped them down with water and a cloth, and I looked, it just smeared whatever it was all over the inside. I was like, mm, probably was that. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> you can imagine. You know, like two weeks. Yeah. But still, good time off there, 120. Yeah, I've stopped with it all. Yeah, a few more gels. Then the, them goggles were leaking as well. Yeah. Uh, right, we're sure. yeah. Got a different place for the canyon list today. Variety is the spice of life. Don't have to wear this shoe. Huh? Don't have to wear this shoe. No. 
He just did it himself as he started yesterday. No, I want to just it's not a touch screen though, is it? That's what. So what's the session today? We're going to go for. Uh, I thought I might do. Ninety times two k efforts. Yeah, I thought I might do. <laughs> Twelve miles as easily as I can. So whilst James is cycling on day two, what we look at is you can see here his food diary so far. So this is what he's eaten day one. And then we're on day two, so already by 8.35, he's had a lot of food already. Okay James, 70k into day two of the bike. We've just been having conversations with Lars and you're feeling a bit bit, bit down at this point, a bit low. Um, yeah, bit it's, point. Um, some of that I've experienced before, uh, the way I could describe it is it's like although you're consuming enough calories, it's a bit like there's a lag before they get to you. So I feel like I've got like noodle arms and legs and my eyes keep wanting to shut and uh, just feel a bit fuddled I guess but I've had it before and you just have to keep turning your legs and then calories will sort of catch up. So you're getting that, so good in yeah. so you're getting that food again. in. Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah it's, I don't feel too bad actually today in general. This is just a bit of a low I think. Um, it's just a long time indoors. It is. Um, <laughs> it is. Um, Taking it quite easy on the bike today. Um, not really through choice. Just <laughs> that's what I've got to do today. Um, and just you know, let everybody know that it's the little messages and the support that pick you up and make you do things. And this is only day two, so it's going to only get worse. So <laughs> make sure you send me a message. So when he gets back on the bike, he'll give us that RER number there. RER, I mean respiratory exchange ratio. I'll be able to tell you in more detail. What have you noticed so far from the others you've taken? Have you noticed any so patterns far, or anything low? Is he, is he stay, I don't know if this picks up his hydration stuff or whatever else, but like, is he? So far, he's closer to one, which means we're feeding him well. Um, if he was getting towards 0.7, I'd start to get a bit worried. Um, yeah, you've got to keep focusing on getting that carb on and um, that respiratory exchange ratio is a good indicator to us whether he's eating enough carbs or not. Is there any way we are testing it, like whether he's hydrated or not? Or is it just for his... So, his hydration is coming from his urine samples. Okay. And that data at the moment is showing that he's a bit dehydrated, so we're encouraging him to drink a lot more. So at the moment, we've got two drinks on the go. We've got an electrolyte drink and a pH 1500 electrolyte drink as well. So, when he comes back from the soil, I'm really going to start encouraging him to get that down in. How are we doing? Yeah, good. I'm glad that's done. Yeah. The first 100k was really tough. I just noodly legs, couldn't eat properly, couldn't drink properly. But the last sort of 80k, things started to right themselves a little bit. So I feel quite a bit better now. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't fancy a marathon, but <laughs> I feel better than I did. So <laughs> noodly arms into noodly legs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
So <laughs> hopefully then that, that doesn't follow on into the run. But no, no, it should be all right. Actually, it's, you finished strong there. We, we definitely could see it that you'd, you'd perked up after yes. a little bit of the wobble. Good, we just need but, to get this marathon boshed out now and then we can yeah. go to bed. That's it, day two. <laughs> all, all in for an early night. Thank you. Uh, a bandage to stop that rattling around. I'm gonna need it, alright. Oh, we've lost all them. How are we doing, James? Yeah, okay, I'm just approaching halfway on the run. So, now it gets real. <laughs> but no, it's okay. Yeah, I feel a lot better than I did earlier. So, at least. Okay, yeah. what, what about in the mind? How are you coping? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm much better than I was earlier. The cameras have worked their way through. That hydration has worked its way through, so my mood has lifted now. I'm on some mashed potato, that always makes me happy. Uh, yeah, so it's just it's really difficult doing it inside. It's just, <laughs> you just have to try to concentrate. Yeah, it's really hard. I, I, I'm, it's living up to what I expected as it got close. Um, yeah, it's, it's tough. I think the next few days uh, yeah they're going to be tough but we're going to get through it oh, so, it's, it's, oh, thank it's, you it's, everybody who donated and hopefully some of you really want to see me suffer you keep donating and then uh, we'll get through the five days right. somehow i'll leave you to suffer a little longer thank you ollie thank you thank you thank you Favourite. Right, go on then, tell us about day two. Um, I think overall it was better than day one. The swim was slower, but felt okay. But the bike was dreadful. Um, it was a struggle right from the start until at least 100k in. Just couldn't get the... Oh, well, actually, no, that's not true. I was eating what I was supposed to be eating it felt like I was always behind and I wasn't digesting it and I, I wasn't really bonking I just didn't I just felt exhausted and sleep tired uh, well, obviously the guys looked after me and kept feeding me and then I came good sort of toward end it by but it was quite a bit slower than yesterday I think the bike was probably um, but then the run has been I don't know if you say better but slightly quicker I think and I feel better now I could barely keep my arm, eyes open this time yesterday but now I feel much better, so that's a good sign. Um, but it's a good challenge, and it's it's at least as hard as the Decker, because what you've what you're saving in the fact that you're doing half the distance, being inside is really tough. I'll give you like an example. Like my face is sore, you know, because these fans blowing on it, and you're hot, so you have to rub it with a wet cloth and so it just and then obviously that sore face isn't the end of the world but then it plays on your mind and you're aware of it and so you can't get into like the zone and disappear uh, things like that I suppose um, but it is good being in the lab and seeing everybody doing their stuff it's kind of nice to realise that there's a big world out there with people doing really interesting and important stuff so yeah it's nice to see what about you how do you find it as a youtuber it must be difficult to get content it? because it's all a bit samey well yeah, you're dead boring so <laughs> 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 uh, it, well the content of you actually doing it is really tough because obviously it's just static but that being said um, as the days go on there is more information to take on so yeah speaking to different people throughout yeah i get obsessed get with that like all i want to ask is whether am i eating enough and then the only person i believe is jen for some reason i don't believe anybody else <laughs> if she gave me a slug to eat i'd be uh, some, uh can you see what's happening with bed somebody's on the wall look that is me. <laughs> <laughs> my, is on it. Like my hamstrings are saying no, 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 this is not what you want. What is it? Apologies. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> but as soon as you get onto mashed potato, everything's good. I know you got a picture of that. I cannot tell you how good it is. I like look at it in the cup because I can't believe how nice it is. I caught it a couple of times just. Just looking at it and smiling. <laughs> oh, sure. With like joy, yeah, sheer joy. I've never seen anyone be so happy. 
It is so good. It's weird. It's like the moment it touches your mouth. I, know where it is. I got some messages from the kids uh, from school today as well. That was really cool. Do I you mean, know how much is that? Yeah. Can you have that now? Yeah, of course you can. Oh yeah, I just literally checked because I was telling him and then he was like, oh, look. Come on then, let's have a look. Have a look right now. Okay. Wow. Wow. £930 it is. Oh. And obviously we've got that check as well from... Yeah, so you're at what, £1,930? Yeah, that's absolutely awesome. That's at the amazing. end of the day too. Amazing. So, to maths would say that we're going to at least double that in three days. Yeah. Yeah, we'll keep pushing it. So somebody rich needs to put some money on and Quinn in the gym is not a very good idea <laughs> <laughs> that's what I've decided uh.